Hey everyone, it's Michael Zugel, your reliable resource of real estate information here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, you're gonna find properties which you can afford at $600,000 if you have that type of budget. I've already made a video assuming that you have an $800,000 budget, which I will link over here. Uh, but this budget here is for, let's say, first time buyers if you're renting a property, or perhaps you're a homeowner that is buying a property for your children, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at different areas across the GTA and find what the best bang for your buck is assuming that you have that budget. And I'm only going to cover sales that have taken place from the 1st of November, 2020 onwards. So let's get into the first property and we are going east, we're going out to Ajax. And you can see here that this property sold for $603,000. It's a two bedroom bungalow. It's a detached property on a 43 by 100 lot. And this is a decent property in the sense that you're able to rent the basement. As you can see here, there's one plus one kitchens as well as a separate entrance. So clearly as you go more east or further away from the downtown core, properties do go ahead and get more affordable. Here's the second property. We're looking at the Young and Finch area of North York. And this is a two bedroom, two washroom property that sold for as well $605,000. It was on the market for three weeks and it does actually include a parking space just between 800 and 900 square feet with condo fees of $520. Next property here, we're gonna take a look at Scarborough. And if you're wondering, can you afford a property in Scarborough that is not a condo? Uh, this will answer your question because we're looking at almost like a teardown. It's a two bedroom and one washroom bungalow on a 24 by 150 foot lot. Although this is a decent area of Scarborough, we're looking at Kennedy slightly north of Kingston Road. And you can see here, there's no garage. The pictures don't look decent. This is more like a renovator's type of home or a building lot. Uh, next property, we're looking at downtown. We're going to Liberty Village, and this is 51 East Liberty Street. The property sold for $595,000 on November the 2nd, 2020. It's uh, between 600 and 700 square feet. Maintenance fee is about 444. And this condo does include a parking space as well as a locker. Next, we are going out east back to Pickering. And this is a property which features two bedrooms, three washrooms, sold on November the 9th, 2020 for $595,000. Really good property in the sense that it's large. It's between 1,200 and 1,400 square feet within five years old. And maintenance fees are 225, which would typically include like the lawn maintenance, maybe the roof and the windows. And this property does as well include one parking space. Here's what you can afford in Brampton where property is generally more affordable. This is a three bedroom and two washroom, two story townhouse. So no condo fees, this is freehold. It has a one car attached garage. It's got a finished basement, although so this property, you can say it does need some general work because inside you can say that it's relatively dated. The property features carpet and it definitely needs some new appliances in my opinion. Here's the next property. We're going downtown to 600 Queens Key and this unit sold for 590,000. It's a one bedroom plus one, so it's got a den and it has a washroom as well as a parking space and a locker, about 630 square feet. Maintenance fees around $556. So we're seeing this trend here that now you're actually actually able to get a one plus one or even a two bedroom for that $600,000. Whereas pre-COVID when condo prices were a lot higher, this particular unit would be more likely to sell somewhere between 650 to 700,000. Here's our next property. This sold November the 4th, 2020 for $600,000 on the dot after being on the market for 56 days. It's at 33 Cox Boulevard in Markham, uh, just in the area of Warden and Highway 7. So this is between 1,000 to 1,200 square feet. Maintenance fees are about 780. It's got one parking space and it as well has its own locker. However, this unit, you can make the argument that it does perhaps need some updating as well because what so is it's got older appliances and laminate style floors. So as you can see, based on the trend here, it's almost like the further you go from the downtown core, the more property you're able to afford, like you're able to get more space. Sometimes you're able to actually get a freehold property, meaning a property that doesn't have maintenance fees. So your traditional detached home, your semi-detached, or perhaps your townhouse. Do keep in mind though, although as you get outside of Toronto and let's say York region or Durham region or Peel, sure their properties are of less value, but at the same time, there's not a lot of condo buildings in most cases. Like if you go to Vaughan, there is a very short supply of condos that are listed for sale. So you may have less selection, although you can afford more. And I realize there are specific cities that I have left out during this video, like Richmond Hill. I haven't covered Mississauga, as well as some areas of Durham region. So if you're wondering about 
about a particular city, then do let me know and I'd be happy to provide you with some information that can be helpful for you. I really hope you got some sort of value from this video. Please do share it as likely somebody you know, friend, family member, or coworker can benefit from this information. You may personally know somebody who's dreaming about home ownership and hopefully this information can be somewhat helpful to them. And if you're a agent watching this video across North America, I appreciate your support and I'm looking for good, ambitious agents at my brokerage at eXp Realty where you're a staff owner and you can also make passive income. So you're welcome to call me for more information about that. My number is 416-671-5218. And the way I'm gonna finish this video is with an insertion of a video preview I've done on one of my listings in Markham at 106 Adrian. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time introduce you to my newest listing. We're here at 106 Adrian Crescent in one of the best areas in Markham. This is a very rare opportunity for generously sized bedrooms, four washrooms, and as well, the home has its own basement apartment. There's a separate entrance kitchen as well as two bedrooms in the basement. So this is an ideal home if you're looking to live